but during World War II, we had a leader that inspired the people to do what was necessary to do. And I know my own dad would have laid down his life for FDR. And a lot of people would have who weren't in the Army or the Navy or whatever because they were inspired and they had the energy to do what we needed to do. And so that's what I mean by a good leader. Not that the leader does everything. The problem is not solved by the leaders. Problems of the world are things that we, on a one-to-one -to -one level, working with our communities and working with you know, uh, on a local level, solve. Leaders really are probably the problem. And I would like to see America lead again by our strength, not necessarily an over-reliance on military power. And I think that's the way we've governed in the last several years, and I think that's dangerous. And I think it also takes the average citizen, it kind of takes the responsibility and the commitment and sacrifice away from individuals. We can no longer be a number one power, super power. It's more collaboration than it is power over, or power to conquer, or power to dictate, or manipulate in any way, whether we are looking for the common good. I think a lot of the reasons why we also have young people being apathetic is because they feel as though we have problems in our own country, why aren't we fixing those before fixing other countries? And, and in a sense, I see that. But I also see the, the greater problems that these countries are facing that we don't necessarily have. And I think it needs to be a balance that we need to focus on the problems in our country as well as helping other countries because we cannot ignore ourselves because if we ignore ourselves, what good are we going to be to another country?